Hey, what's going on, guys? Hey, guys, welcome back to the channel. Yeah, uh, at, at the time of us recording, it's St. Patrick's Day, so uh, happy belated St. Patrick's Day to you guys. Yeah, you will definitely all be seeing this after the fact, but yeah. hey, we're thinking about you on St. Patrick's Day. <laughs> we sure are. Here for the season two finale of Ted Lasso, and the yeah. beauty is, is it just started season three, so we can, without skipping a beat, roll right into season three, which is kind of nice. We like to say that we t we planned that, but we didn't. We didn't. We didn't, <laughs> we didn't plan that at all. We planned and timed out. nothing. It, it just kind of worked out that the next time we sit down and record, there's not going to be a gap in Ted Lasso. We're rolling yeah. right into Ted Lasso, and which they is gave really us awesome. Two episodes. Two yeah, episodes, so. we just saw that. There's two as we loaded up to do this. We just saw that there was a. They put up two for the premiere, so yeah, we're still doing. So if you guys want to watch them, get ahead. Go ahead, but we're gonna we're gonna take our time. Right, absolutely. Time. We're gonna yeah, we're, we're gonna absolutely do that. Um, keep the same pace, uh, as it were. Um, predictions for the finale. I don't know. All I know is that Nate's a monster. Nate is a monster. I'm still in shock about that. That's gonna. I, I, I'm kind of curious how they're gonna deal with the issue because it's going to be in the papers, mm -hmm. um, and and Ted's gonna have to address that on some level, and he's gonna have to address Nate on some level. Well, are they headed towards a big game? I don't know. I, yeah, yeah. I I think we're at the. I mean. There's no way there's not a big game, and the, the big game is going to have to be to decide. I, I, I'm guessing structurally, if they go back to you know ending ending the football season, to go back into the Premier League out of the Championship. But here, here's what I thought the structure was as soon as we finished season, finished season one. How it was season one, they get relegated to the Championship League. Yeah. Season two, they're in the Championship League and fighting to get promoted. Yeah. So I think that's what's going to happen they're here. They're going to come out of the doghouse, basically. They're going to come out of the doghouse and be back in the Premier League for Season 3. And in Season 3, they're going to be competing on some level for, sure. for a championship. I don't know if they're going to get there. Um, <clears throat> no one does. but Because, uh, you know, it's not out yet. Um, but that's what that's what my guess structurally would be on, on the three, three seasons. Sure. And they have announced that they're definitely done after Season 3. I know. Sudeikis came out and said, yeah, this is the end of the story we wanted to tell, which... I commend him for telling right. the story. For, and yeah, right, and for done. being done when, you know, it's TV shows are at their best when they get to decide when we're finished and not either can't, getting canceled or <clears throat> pushing too far. Yeah, have you noticed that a lot of shows lately have been shorter? Yeah. Like, Ted Lasso's going for three seasons, I believe, Succession's four, Ted La or, um, Barry's going to be Yeah, we're going to, we're about to start Barry, and and we and the reason we're starting Barry now is we saw that this this fourth season's yeah. going to be the final one there. It's it's good three television. Three seasons, though, that's not bad at all. I mean, that's, that's, a, that's a lot of episodes. Well, right? it, it, and even shows that go longer, like, um... Mad Better Men went for like seven. I think, you know? Mad Men and, and, and Better Call Saul. Yeah. These are shows that could have kept going and milking it forever. Yeah. And I respect the fact that they didn't. They The, the, the showrunners decide, and you know, that all the people involved in the show decided mm -hmm. this is how long our story needs to be to tell the story. And on a high note. And, a high note, yeah. and don't milk it for money. I... There's so many television shows. It works for a sitcom, like on TV, right, like absolutely. Cheers or MASH or something right. like that. Right, but, but so many of them went too far. You know, yeah. the, the office Jumped went the too shirt. long. Oh um, yeah, it should have ended when Steve Carell left. It did. It should have. Um, that would have been a great time to end it. It was still very, it's still a very good show, and I, I didn't like the last couple of seasons. They were okay. They weren't. They weren't. They weren't the same. Definitely weren't the same. It yeah, definitely no. fell off. Dexter. <laughs> did did Dexter go on too long? Speaking of season four, honestly, after season four of Dexter, you lost me. See, they should have yeah. done the season four thing. I, I kind John of Lithgow was great, yeah. right? I kind of feel like a lot of these shows are learning their lessons from from the the mistakes of these. Sure, you know, House was a show I loved, went way too long and got stupid. You know, shows do that when it's like let's just keep going, if nothing else, for the steady paycheck. Sure, because the era we're in right now, as far as TV movies go, it seems like TV is king. T oh, TV is definitely king over movies. We movie guys here, but right? Like we. We can't deny that TV is taking over right now. So right, yeah, we're we're movie guys, and we're, we're you know that's why we do the, uh, so many TV shows on this channel because we watch a lot more movies than <laughs> it's, TV. It's, it's kind of a hole in our resume. Honestly. Yeah, I mean it really is, yeah. and and we're watching some of the best shows ever made, and yeah. they're all you know the West Wing's the oldest one, and that's not an old show, you know. So it's, well, tw yeah, it's it's not that old, but it's still like yeah, it's twenty not, years. It's sure, like, wow, it's still you know? yeah, but it's not like we're watching you know Hardcastle and McCormick. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> no, that is. <laughs> it's, it's like an old eighties cop show. Watch right? Rawhide. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> Um, so yeah, we are in the golden era of television yeah. and smart TV knows when to walk away and it looks like Ted Lasso is going to follow that model as well and good That's, for them. Yeah, we, exactly. You will be missed. Hopefully they pull a, a Rocky two this season. They do pull off the window. I, I, I'm hoping that's how it ends. Yeah. Although we don't see much football in this. We don't. Be and I think the reason is, is because they've made the point that the football's not, not what's it's important. Secondary it's their, it's to secondary it. to the people. Sure. So maybe they don't win. I would not be surprised if they didn't win anything by the time it's really over. Yeah. Well, I would yeah. love them, I would love them to selfishly as a happy ending kind of guy, but it's but not necessary it, for the story. Just to mix the formula up, it'd be nice to see them with a win. actually win something because they because they lost the last one. Just right. some, you know, yeah, just to keep it structured. Well. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. Looking forward to this. All right, uh, do want to go ahead and welcome some new Patreon subscribers. So 
YXI94, uh, Elvin Campbell, Julia, Poyo Pachi, Roy, <laughs> Nicole Westerhouse, and you mine. No. Okay, I'm man. sorry, all of you. Uh, why his names I just destroyed, but thank you and welcome. We really, really do appreciate the it, The thought and intent was there. Absolutely. <laughs> we say it because we care and we know we're going to look stupid doing it. Yes. Uh, but for those of you guys watching this on YouTube, uh, welcome. And if you guys don't yes. mind, hit that like button. Leave us a comment down below if you feel so inclined. And then uh, while you're at it, hit that subscribe button. Oh, that would be lovely. We really do appreciate that. We really would. If Help you'd like, grow. Yeah. If you'd like to see full reaction to this and the other shows that we've watched or are watching, please check out the link in the description below to our Patreon page. It's a good time. It is a good time. You will need to have your own copy to sync and watch along with this, probably on Apple TV as we are doing. <laughs> <laughs> the headline this morning is the news that Ted Lasso left in the middle of the Tottenham uh, here we go. Season, yeah. not due to stomach problems. Here, yeah. Your ship's being attacked, right? And you run to the bridge, you want to find a captain whose brain works. Not Whoa! Was... Yeah, he's... Hi, Ted. Remember, the truth will set you free. Oh, Sharon called. You... Man, do we have... A... I think this just kind of shows how... He's like, grown. Like he's well, like, he's, he's grown, but also, like, mental health in general it still has a stigma with it, you know? I think it's because we have a label for what it is now that people, right. like, want to attack it so much. It's like, these things have been here forever. Like, right. No, it's, it's not true. a new thing. It's like PTSD didn't used to be called that. It used to be called shell shock. But it, yeah. was, it was serious. We just didn't act like it was. Because now we have a way to talk about it. We have right. to criticize it. It's, it's dumb. Yeah, there's, it's, yeah mental, mental health issues are stigmatized way too much. I think that's the thing going on here. <laughs> mental health was only introduced in the 2000s. <laughs> right. <laughs> and you know that you have our full support. <laughs> I appreciate that. I still wish I could have done something before that dick Trent Krim posted the article. Oh, no, come on. Trent's a good guy. Oh, he sent him a jersey from the, the team. I don't, I'm very curious to see if he goes or not, you know? I don't think he goes. <laughs> What's Jamie wearing? He's, uh, Roy, yeah? I don't hear any grunting. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, uh, yes. I, oh, it's awful. Yeah. Yeah. Beard nose. It was awful. Oi! Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah, okay. That's a good idea. Because when I'm done, you won't have any teeth left in your nose. <laughs> oh my god! Bit. Oh my god! Right. Uh, um, yeah. But I still, I shouldn't have done it, and it was wrong. But I just need you to know that I respect you, and and I respect you, and I respect your relationship. Yeah, that's a that's a man right there with what he's doing. Yeah, and he respects Roy. Like and now, and now Roy can't do anything to him. Look at him. Fuck. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Before we get started here, I wanted to talk to y'all about the article you saw in the paper this morning. Actually, y'all probably saw it on your phone. Me choosing not to be forthright with y'all, that was a bad choice. And I can't be wasting time wishing for a do-over on all that. Because that ain't how choices work. <laughs> it's our choices, gentlemen, that show what we truly are. Far more than our abilities. Oh, I like that. Now, I hope y'all can forgive me. For I don't remember that. The money people that back Banta. They want to finance me opening my own PR firm. Wow. That would be really cool. I don't want to appear like I'm not grateful for the amazing opportunity she's given me here. It'd be crazy not to go, right? Samuel, you're He's not going. This. Relax. I feel like that's uh, not going. The answer, I'd let the answer come to you. See, I don't think he's going. Saying, right? That means a lot to him. Yeah. He's, he's important to the, to, to the, the town, to the he team. He can still support his home country. Yeah. Jamie apologized to me for what he said to you at the funeral. I didn't say anything. I oh, know. He said he did it on his own. They want to finance me opening my own PR firm. Holy fucking shit. Thank you so much. Oh, that's yeah. nice. Okay, I really thought they were going to have like a whole love triangle thing going on, but I'm, I'm glad that did. Yeah. Oh, that's a great photo. That is a really good photo. Yeah, but he's any of them. I didn't use any of the pictures for viewing them. Don't you change a fucking thing. You look powerful. She does. Fucking gorgeous. You look like a bilf. Wow, what makes you think it was night? You're right. You gotta let him come to you. <laughs> That's not gonna happen. It's not gonna happen. No, Nate is so not that guy. Push. Yeah, well, I'm pushing nobody. You helped this panda become a lion. <laughs> oh! <laughs> I'm so proud of you. <laughs> this is perfect. <laughs> Rupert's just bought West Ham United. Oh, man. No. Saw this coming. Oh, man. <sighs> Promise me you will not go and work for him. He can't afford me. <laughs> 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 
Be all good to go on running Nate's false nine today? Yeah. You'd be fools not to. Oh my god, you suck. Didn't use a single picture with me in it. And it hurt. She looks so fucking great. On her own. Without me. Oh. It would have actually been fucking weird if I was in the pictures. <laughs> Roy, when Keely and I went shopping, oh, was God. Out, I kissed her. Is that okay? I, I kissed her. I kissed your girlfriend. We're good. All Jamie did was talk to him. You wanted to kill him. But I deserve to be headbutted. I'd be happy to headbutt you, Nate. Okay. <laughs> yeah. That's enough right now. We got work to do, yeah? Like, it's hard to take Nate seriously when he's dressed like that, too. Right. Yeah, I mean, like, it looks good on him, but, like... He's trying to look like Roy. He's trying to be Roy. We should abandon the false nine. It'd work if we had players knew what the fuck they were doing. But... Enough. Yeah, I don't agree, Nate. You know, I think we gotta stick with it, man. Should we stick with the false nine or switch it up? <laughs> players who've never been asked that kind of question uh, 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 uh. before. And we're all perfectly capable of executing it. It will work. Okay. Oh, oh man, I love this. <laughs> oh my god, this is such a beautiful moment. I'm yes. getting choked up here. This is fantastic. <laughs> oh my god, I love this so much. Does Nate quit or do they fire him at some point? Honestly, he's ruining this moment for me. He's, he's ruining, he, yeah. He literally ruined that moment for me. They're using your plan. They're using your plan, man. Oh, we're gonna have we're gonna do this right now. All right, let's do it. Yeah, they let's need have, to. Let's have this come to Jesus moment. Come on. Oh, man. You're mad as hell. I just want to know why. Huh? What have I got to learn here? Oh, I like how you worded that. You want to know what you did? You made me feel like I was the most important person in the whole world. And then you abandoned me. I think you're a fucking joke. Wow. Mm. Without me, you wouldn't want a single match and they would have shipped your ass back to Kansas where you fucking belong with your, with your son. I belong here. This, di this didn't just fall into my lap, right? I, I earned this. I know you did, mate. No, you're not. You're full of shit. Just fuck you, Ted. Wow. Yeah, he wow. Crossed, he, he crossed the line there. Yeah! Woo! Yeah! I'm so glad it's Hippo Ball's life. Yeah. Why is he upset about this? Embrace love. It's your stupid Embrace game plan. Love. Embrace family. Take it all, mate. Come on. Oh, there it is. Oh, <laughs> oh you suck. Oh, my I hate God. him. I, and I'm so flattered by your offer. I'm sorry, but my yeah. answer is no, thank you. You are a trash. What the fuck do you think you are wasting my time? Well, my overall concern about the way we discuss and deal with mental health in athletics. Yeah, a hundred percent. Yeah. Rupert Sport West Ham United. I would lay money now that Nate is going to be the coach. Remember they were talking at the funeral that Nate's going to be the the coach for Rupert. You get all the bad guys on one team. Oh, that'd be amazing. My God, I hope so. I just wanted to let you both know that I've decided to stay. I'm staying because it's what's best for me and my personal journey. I like that. Six weeks so you can chill out before you start kicking ass in your new job. Oh, that's pretty sweet. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. Be gone for over a month. That's pretty cool. Yeah, that's a pretty sick vacation, isn't yeah. it? I can't go. Uh oh. What? Why not? Don't start work in six weeks. I started like a week ago. I just can't. Uh oh. Oh, uh, is this a breakup? But you should go. Don't do this to us. Are we breaking up? No. Why would you say that? Because you told him to leave for a not. month and a half? I love you. We'll be fine. I mean, really, it is six weeks. Can... six weeks. Yeah. This is not Richmond. Is this Rupert's team and is Nate going to be there on the side? Yep. Yes, he is. Look, Whoa, how... is that... Look at his hair, man. Yep, there's our super villain. He is full on gray. He's full on villain, isn't he? Wow. I think he's too insecure to beat Ted. You know what I mean? That's what I really do think that. I would love it if that's a championship next season. Dang. Well, yeah, there's no way they don't have a head to head with, with Nate now. 
There is no way. Talk right. about a villain arc, though. Oh my god. I, I honestly, I love, love, love how this ended because one, Nate was awful this whole episode, right? He he was dragging it down. I think that was kind of the whole thing, right? He was yeah. dragging it down. I think that was kind of the point. And now we get Rupert plus Nate together as yeah. the as a real antagonist team for yeah, next season. The two people you hate the most. Uh, two, the two people you I hate don't on think the show. You hate any more, more, anybody more than Rupert? Maybe no. Nate. Now. I think I think I hate Nate more than Rupert. I don't know. Rupert's pretty bad. Rupert's really bad. Rupert's pretty bad. I think there's an equal level of hate now. I, th- I think the Nate thing came so quickly though. Right. The, the reason built the reason I think you hate Nate more is because of recency bias. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like like Rupert was awful in the first season for sure. He was our villain, right? Yeah. Second season, he kind of disappears. You don't really see him. You don't really see him that you know, much. You do. He's not that bad. He's you know at a I mean? funeral. Yeah, right? yeah, he's not yeah, that yeah. bad. And then uh, and then we catch him. You know. Nate, at the end. Sucks. But Nate, oh but yeah, my God. we spend the season instead finding out how much Nate sucks. You know what I love about the whole season is like his hair was noticeably grayer, right? And it just keeps getting grayer, and right? Grayer right, because yeah, he's full blown dark side. Is it? I think Nick Muhammad, I think, is his name. Man, what a great performance from him! Yeah, he's you know, a really he good crushed, actor. Yeah, he's a really good actor because he played that 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 mousy friendly kid in the first season yeah. and the transition to this super villain was great you know what's funny is like if you look back at the first season you kind of see shades of that whenever, oh there whenever are he yeah. gets amped up and he can be kind of mean he can turn yeah. it on it's there it's, it's there all it's there, all under the surface know? right um yeah i mean that's probably like one of the greatest villain turns we've ever seen right and and you know what, what's really interesting about that speech the, the fight between him and ted at the end is Ted really can see the part that he played. You know what I mean? Like, I think there were times that Ted probably could have headed that off a little bit and, and, didn't, and yeah. didn't catch it. I think Nate wasn't wrong about saying, like, you know, I tried to get your attention and you kind of blew yeah. me off. I think he did a little bit. But Nate sure. Nate, Nate was never his own person anyway, and that's, that was the real problem. No. I, I mean, I'm not blaming Ted at all. I'd say it's about 10% Ted's fault and 90% on Nate. But I, I, I kind of feel like that, ten, that 10% really spiraled that other 90 out of control you're right and you, they had the episode at the beginning of the, of the season whenever like they, they didn't take nate seriously and it really hurt his feelings what he wanted to be the big dog to go talk to yeah to isaac and he's like, like i'm a big dog and they kind of laughed him off that that right there was like guys you could have you could have put an end to this right there well also like you're right that that that's the 10 percent, but at the same time is nate oh no it's all nate. nate nate doesn't realize that like he's got some type of like father issue Social anxiety as yeah. well, to where he right. can't read situations. He can't read situations. He's compl- he has no situational awareness. The, the 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 fact that he let Twitter control his mood so much by looking himself he up, he, hubris up there. Yeah, yeah, yeah um, that it, that shows a lot of insecurity and immaturity. Um, well, you're right. He got he got the world given to him by a father figure, a right. coach, and you know he went from kit man. To to head to one of the coaches, right? That's huge. That's yeah, a huge jump. Yeah, I, right. And that annoys me that he's like, I, you know, you don't deserve to be here. I deserve to be. Here. I earned this all myself. I'm like, the man handed it to you. He did. He to, did hand it to you. To a certain extent, he did earn it. Right. Right. Because he because right. he has he has the chops. But at the same time, he has he's not grateful. He's not grateful. He's not grateful for it. Any other manager would not have promoted him. Any other gaffer would not have given him that opportunity. Exactly. He doesn't realize the, the blessings that he's been given. He and does also, not. Like, he's not grateful at all. And the love that he's given by... Love and support he's given by the entire team. Right. And, like, ribbing. Like, they're just ribbing him. You know right. I mean? and, and, like, he... Look, you gotta know your role. You're not a big dog, Nate. And he's that's okay. Not. It's okay. You're a big dog when it comes to coaching. You're a big dog when it comes to certain elements. But you're not... You're not Roy. Guy. You're not that guy. You're, you're not, not that guy. You're not, not the, you're not the guy to walk what's, out. What's that mean? You're not that guy, pal. You're yeah, not that guy. You're not that guy. That's He's just not. And you know what? That's okay. You don't have to be... Big D swinging everywhere. Right, you're a good coach, man. And yeah, you you you're attack as a tactician, you're fine. You don't. He's he, you you can't walk out. Of, he's not going to walk out of the field and scream whistle 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 and cuss guys into doing their job well because he's not Roy Kent. He's he not. doesn't have that background. You know that that, that level of, of of respect as a player. Yeah. That that Roy's naturally going to have. And, you, and I think that it really speaks on like him wanting to be somebody else, be, but to be good at his job. Being you is enough to be good at your job. Right. And that's, I think a lot of people can take that. Play to your strengths, man. Literally. That's okay. Everybody can learn from that, you right. know? And, uh, I, I, I'm very annoyed with him. I, I'm annoyed, but at the same time, I'm really happily, pleasantly surprised that a show like Ted Lasso, which is a great show, it's right. really well written, but it's a comedy. Yeah. For a comedy to have a villain that's that complex. Oh, absolutely. Awesome. That's like one of the, like the most complex villains oh. ever. Big question for the third and final season then. Nate's obviously going to be the bad guy. He's going to be the antagonist, right? Yeah. Do you think at some point before the season's over, he has his own redemption arc? 
recency biased i hope not but at the same time yeah he's probably gonna have his own arc if they're, I if they're ending it yeah I, I feel like, and it might not happen until the last game when his dad says, I'm proud of you, or whatever. I don't know what's going to happen, but it's, I'm really hoping that in some level, he doesn't just end up being the heel, and that's yeah. it. Rupert can stay the heel. Yeah, Rupert can. Rupert can be miserable forever. I don't yeah, care. Rupert he's an evil He's an evil old man. Yeah. But 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 we've seen the fact that, there, that you know, Nate's got actual guy. issues. He's a young guy that, that ultimately is a good guy that's been very misguided Jamie um, by himself. Jamie um, Jamie had a redemption arc, and Jamie was awful. To some extent, Roy had a redemption arc. Like yeah. some, to a certain extent, sure. You know I mean? Not he didn't he have far to go, right? He came yeah, around yeah. a lot of things, but I, I, I hope Nate has a little bit of okay. I've been kind of a douche, and I can be a better person, but I don't know how they're going to do it. You know what I think it's going to be like you said. Uh, it's going to take uh, uh, his dad to say I'm proud of you for him to like come around. It's kind of, yeah. I, I think a lot of this is his dad. I think what's going to happen is his dad's not going to be impressed, and then right. dad's going to be there for him. And that's what he's going to realize. That's what happened with Jamie. It's exactly what happened with Jamie. And, like, you know, this whole show is about accepting right. acceptance and, right. and embracing the people around you. So. Yeah. And who you are. Exactly. Yeah. So, and, Nate, uh, embrace who you are. You are not this guy. He was kind of, he almost ruined that finale for me, man. He, he almost was, did. He was, he was pretty awful. Also, him. shout out Pinky D. Funny line. Oh, my God. <laughs> that old scene. I, I will poop and never ruin your time. Again, I, I don't know that. We should have looked him up, man. I don't know the actor's name. I've seen him in a lot of things. <laughs> he's he's, he's always hilarious. Yeah. And, my God, do you think they let him just run with that and have fun at the end? <laughs> like, all right, he's going to say no, and you're going to destroy him and yeah. the room on the way out the door. And I bet he's like, okay, roll the cameras. We're going to have a good time <laughs> here. <laughs> <laughs> he called him all kinds of things. That was so good. That was, was so much fun. It was a lot of fun. Uh, yeah, looking forward to season three starting next week. Yeah, we'll see you guys in the next one.